You need only one thing to make your smartphone deaf. And that one thing is... Just like on YouTube, figure you bring some new food. Hello people, and welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time on the channel, a special welcome to you. I ask that you check out the rest of my videos. If you like what you see, give them a thumbs up, leave a comment, but more than anything, I'm asking that you subscribe to the channel. Today I'm gonna teach you how to make your smartphone deaf. Smartphones tend to listen to everything around you. Smartphones tend to listen to conversation that you did not include your smartphone in. So today I'm gonna to teach you how to tell your smartphone to butt out of that conversation or just to silence your smartphone. We're living in a time of satellite, drones, and smartphones. In other words, it's almost impossible for you to escape being captured, whether that's being your image or your voice. Someone is always watching. There's eyes in the skies everywhere you look. And without us even knowing, we tend to um, put ourselves in that position just by acquiring modern technology. For example, if you're anything like me, in your house you will have a smart television. In your house you might have a PS4 or an Xbox. In your car you might have a dash cam. In your front porch you might have CCTV that's actually for your own protection. So all, all these little gadgets, all these little things that we think well are better for us. At the same time, it's cheating us, it's robbing us, I should say, of our privacy. And for that reason, I'm going to tackle cell phone today. Of course, I could tackle the CCTV that's at your front door, dash cam that's in your car, Amazon Alexa, Amazon Echo, Google Home, and all the apps that's on your phone. Well, I'm going to actually tackle the apps on your phone because when it comes to your smartphone, Smartphone companies such as Apple and Samsung, which are the two leading brands in smartphone today, they give you what I would call adequate amount of privacy. In other words, these phones allow you to expose yourself or protect yourself to an adequate level. When I say adequate, I mean not substantial. In other words, these phones allow you to turn on your location and turn off your location. Um, but when it comes to third party apps that you download, this is where you become more vulnerable. Third party apps that we often enjoy, whether it's a gaming app or you believe it's a helpful app, um, whatever the app is, in most cases you're given, in order to have these apps, especially the free apps, in order to have these apps, you're given these apps so much permission that is invading your privacy. Most of these apps are allowed to scan your phone book, access your front camera, your back camera, and most of these apps are allowed to access your microphone. And the microphone that these apps access, this is where your privacy goes out the door. Have you ever had a random conversation with an individual about a random topic, but when you decide to go and Google to search for more information, the first two letters that you type in actually give you the search word that you're actually looking for? If that has happened to you, then you are not alone. This is what happened with apps like Google search. For example, you've given Google search the power to listen to what you're talking about. You've given Google search to watch what you're talking about. So if you have a, a smartphone with a camera, you have given most of your apps, if not all, access to listen and watch what you're doing. Just like a PC, I, I work with a desktop PC and I put a tape, a black tape over my camera. And the reason why I do that is because my PC has the ability to watch me and take pictures of me and record me without me knowing. And at the same time, I mute my PC's mic. So those are some steps that one could take. I'm a very techie person, so I have things like drones, I have dash cam. So you guys might be saying, hurry up, let us hear 
how do you make your smartphone deaf? Okay, without any further ado, let me try you how to make your smartphone deaf. First of all, to make your smartphone deaf, you have to be at home or in an office. So this has to be at a, a stationary location. To my knowledge, even if you turn the smartphone off, it still has the ability to listen to what's going on around it. So stationary position. So you need to be at home or you need to be at an office. And you need only one thing to make your smartphone deaf. And that one thing is, drum roll, All you need to make your smartphone deaf is a microwave. Yes, a microwave is more powerful than you actually think. It doesn't just have the ability to heat food and defrost meat. Your microwave, even when it's not on, it possesses radioactive ability. So if you put your phone or any of your smart devices in a microwave and close the microwave door, Please do not turn on the microwave while doing this. You will realize that the radioactiveness bars all reception from reaching your smart device. In this case, your smartphone. In my household, sometimes, not that I have much to hide, I, I, I'm not any espionage or top ranking spy or I'm not involved in anything criminal, but sometimes just for the sake of feeling that you could have a private conversation, I often put all my smart devices in my microwave and just close the door. Just, just to feel like, you know what, for that one moment, I feel like I can have a regular conversation with my family and not worrying about a third party hearing. You might be wondering, or some of you might be wondering, why is that necessary if you have nothing to hide? Let's just say I'm a private person and I like to be private and I, I just feel that it's wrong. I feel raped that a third party could just be listening to what I'm talking about, even if I'm talking about what we're going to make for dinner. So I believe that some of you, for one reason or another, would have liked this tip, so I've decided to do this video and let you know that if you want to make your smartphone deaf, all you have to do is stick it in a microwave and it will butt out of your conversation. I don't know how long this method is going to last because you know how it is as soon as you expose tips and tricks, manufacturers of technology find other ways to get around it. How long it will last, who knows, but what I do know that at this present moment it does work and it works like a charm. Check us out. So here I have two smartphones. The one on the left that is my wife's smartphone and the one on the right that is my smartphone. So I'm going to use this smartphone to call this smartphone. Now I'm calling my wife's phone. And as you can see, that call has gone through successfully and my wife could easily pick it up and we could have a conversation. So that means um, data, mobile data is being receptive at the moment. However, if I want to cancel mobile data without actually turning off my wife's phone, all I'd have to do is put our phone in a microwave and then call her back. Five, can't take your call at the moment. Please leave a message after the turn. Yep, it does work. Anyway, that's my tip and tricks for you today. I've realized that tips and tricks that I know and probably take for granted, many people have no clue about it. So every now and then, when I learn a new tip or a new trick, I will share it with you guys. Let me know what you think of this trick and share any tips and tricks that you have with me. You know, I don't know it all. So each one teach one on my channel is one of my tagline. As you know, guys, on my channel, I accept thumbs up and thumbs down, agreement and disagreement, because at the end of the day, each one teach one. You've reached the end of my video, and that in itself is a support that I truly appreciate. And while I'm at it, I will take this time out to let you guys know other ways that you can support my channel. The first and simplest way that you can support my channel is by giving this video a thumbs up. And the second and most important way that you can support this channel is by hitting that subscribe button and subscribe to my channel and follow me through my YouTube journey. 
other ways that you can support my channel is by going to my Teespring online store and buying some of my merch. And another way that you guys can also support this channel is by joining me in Patreon to give me a contribution to support what I do on YouTube and what I do to entertain you guys. Once again, I want to thank you guys for your continuous support and ask that you join me, Ian T. Sebast, on YouTube and see where my journey takes me. Until next time, people. Peace.